If science is an art and art is a science, Christine Andrews might be somewhere in the middle. Science takes a creative mind. You have to think outside of the box. You have to solve problems. And that's what I do with my art. Christine maintains a sort of double life, part as a painter, the other half teaching college students at UNH Manchester. I teach for the biology department and I uh, tutor sciences and, and, and train other tutors. When she's not that science teacher, she's using texture paint to recreate the outdoors she often hikes in New Hampshire. A couple of years ago, Christine wanted to take her painting to the next level. Then started looking for um, associations or art communities to belong to. Um, art can be kind of isolating. You do it by yourself often. Um, so I was really looking to reach out and, and connect with other artists. And she found a group in New Hampshire that's been helping artists for decades. I was in the corporate world for um, quite a number of years until I really decided it was time to get back to what I love to do, and that's photography. Renee Giffroy creates art through the lens of her camera. She is also president of one of the longest running art associations ever. I, I just wanted to meet people and I wanted a place to, uh, to meet like-minded people and to grow my photography and learn more about the arts and maybe give back a little bit. Renee helps run the New Hampshire Art Association, or NHAA, which in 2020 turned 80 years old. Their purpose was really to bring artists together, to let artists grow and share amongst themselves, but also to bring art to the public. And in fact, that's what we still do today. What started with a handful of artists in 1940 has grown. We've got about um, over 250 members across a wide variety of mediums like um, photography, sculpting, painting, uh, you know, mixed media, that kind of thing. The New Hampshire Art Association is a huge resource for those local artists. They offer workshops for like-minded artists to work together. There are shows and gallery rentals to get your work more exposure. And they operate the Robert Lincoln Levy Gallery on State Street in downtown Portsmouth. Here, the hundreds of NHAA members can display art during exhibitions and sell their pieces. We have really wonderful resources for our community. I have to say, I show and sell more art there than any place else. Port City artist Barbara Adams has been a member since 2003. Like all the others, she had to be juried in by her peers. I knew they were um, the oldest art association in New Hampshire, but I think they're also the oldest, one of the oldest art associations in our country. So they're kind of a special, special place. Artists like Barbara often work solo in a studio. Now, I'm painting abstractly almost well, the entire time. I'm not doing any realistic painting anymore. One of the things I've been interested in is painting tugboats, which is sort of a symbol of Portsmouth, and painting them, trying to paint them abstractly. And that's very difficult to paint a tugboat <laughs> abstractly. It's also difficult to see what your peers in the art world are doing, which is why many turn to the New Hampshire Art Association, hoping to be members. You know, art is kind of lonely doing it by yourself, but being able to connect with other artists is just really a treasure. A tradition of supporting artists that started 80 years ago continues today. The NHAA offers classes to the public and invites college students to display and sell work, hoping to inspire the next generation.
For members like Christine Andrews, having this artist collective has been a huge boost and perhaps made her one step closer to doing more art than science. This was the first art association that I joined and my art has grown leaps and bounds. Just the opportunity to, to chat with patrons and other artists and get feedback has pushed me to challenge myself in my art and, and pushed me a lot further than I would have been otherwise.